Hello, we're back. Today we're going to use a black gesso. And I have a Bob Ross black gesso that I got um, a long time ago. So we're going to paint this 8 by 8 canvas with a white horse. This is for a beginner's tutorial and how to paint a white horse. So, oops, make sure you um, mix it first. Don't do what I did. I didn't mix it. I forgot to mix it. So go ahead and mix your gesso and then you can just pour it in your canvas. So it doesn't need a lot of gesso in, in this one because it's a small canvas. If you don't have a black gesso, you can just use a black paint. It still works for what we are going to do today. So. And I would like to also include the sides. Let's go ahead and paint those sides as well. Um, by the way, you can get this black gesso I think online um, in craft stores. Um, pretty sure Michael's or Hobby Lobby got it. My guys, it's pretty dry right now, so we can start our horse. You can use a chalk to sketch. If you have a chalk, you can use it to sketch. And if you don't have a chalk, try the pencil. Or if you have a sketch pencil, you can use that as well. Okay, I tried to sketch it with a pencil, but it doesn't really show much. I mean, it showed to me, but I'm not sure if you can see it. But I'll try to use the chalk. So this is just an outline for you to see better what we're doing. I'll just do that here and there. And this would be our hair. And this would be our roundness of um, the horse behind and then the tail. Okay. Um, so that's just for you to see it. And it's I like the chalk to, to use as a sketch because it's easy to clean. Like when, when I'm done with those chalk. Just use a regular brush and then just take it out and it will just easily go away. So. Um, 
I just used the wax paper for my palette since we're not using a lot of paint on this tutorial. Um, I don't really need a lot of paint anyways to shape later on. So this is the best way to just toss it when you're done. So I'm using the titanium white and the blue gray for now. And maybe later on we can use the parchment. Um, we'll see how it looks first. But for now those are the two colors we need. Titanium white and blue gray. So I will be using a very detailed brush, very small fine brush for the outline. So just the titanium white, I'm just adding a little bit of white and then a water mix to do my outline. And when you do a horse, the jaw of the ho the horse would be the the highlight. Make sure that jaw really stand out. And if you're not familiar or comfortable with um drawing or sketching a horse i suggest to practice first before you do this there are multiple ways to check out or go how to draw a horse online um some basic like some basic parts of the horse that you have to at least familiar or get used to it when you paint or draw a horse. They're very helpful. And I like to do my mane really flashy or detailed. I like the horse hair. Those are my favorite parts of doing a horse. Okay. So the horse is like looking back. So it's trying to go somewhere and then it's looking back at you. This part in here. Um. Will be just the back, the back of the horse, and then his behind. So make sure you have that fluffiness of your hair. So we can add more on those later on. Extend those pretty mane. And I try to do it in the side because I want to add a um, coat in the right section. So this is like a decoration in your room or just a quote that you like that you want to add in your painting. This is the best way to do it. Okay, the quote that I choose for this painting tutorial is only those who will risk going too far can possibly find out how far one can go we'll add that in our painting and we'll go back to the horse later on um, it doesn't matter how how you write it or the style if you want a cursive or just roman text it's up to you what you like but i try to kind of mix roman and cursive so
So bear with me while I'm doing the quote. And you can make it more fancy later on if you like. Just add additional scribbleness on those texts. Like I said, I like to mix Roman and just cursive text. It doesn't really matter. Very simple how to paint white horse. With quotes. And also if you want a, you want to write down your quote first with a pencil, that's fine as well. I found this quote online and it's sticking to me. I really like it. Okay, so got your quote in there. Then you can add your signature in here, this space in there. But let's go back to the horse. Using a filbert brush. So I'm trying to, to do a light source maybe somewhere here. So I'm just going to add that white one in there and just add some of that gray gray black or blue gray and then just kind of like smudge it we don't really want a lot we're just trying to smudge it in there and we're trying to kind of tell it like oh i have a, a light source in there And if you think it's too much, um, I think it's too much. So I'm just going to add back that black gesso just a tiny bit. And I'll just kind of like take out some of those 
so it doesn't really show obvious kind of so just like that so since this is our light source i would like to add my blue gray in this section so just add the blue gray remember we're doing a white horse so the blue gray would be our um shadowing you can also use a fluid aid to your paints if you want it's like a water but it's just better because it doesn't get the pigment of your paints um too much too much of discontinuing of those pigments or plaster so you might not see much and see the difference between the blue gray and the titanium white and this is the first layer so there's still some more layer to come so this is hitting that part that would be my the tiny one this one is covered with the tail this one in here so that would be my blue gray if you don't have a blue gray just use gray And the rest are just a mixture of those two colors. I will just do like that. Then we'll add the curly hair. It's not going to be all titanium white because. Um, some of it are got shade to also kind of separate those two colors that's what i said i might use a different a parchment earlier i might use a parchment or i think i will use this portrait pink i think it will really show the, the um, separation of two just a hint, not a lot. Just in the hair section. Then we can add a di um, the titanium white onto the little details. Maybe later. So we can add some in there too. back on the head of our horse try to use a very light mm, let me show you very light not too much of a load just a small amount then add some fluid the flow aid or just a regular water just add those and I have some blue gray already that I did in in um in the other section. So I I didn't wash my brush, I just added a small of that titanium white in there and then just do the first layer in the head section. So make sure you follow the roundness of the body of the horse so it shows that it's really um,
kind of bending or looking back. We want that and it's okay if you skip some or not really color all the way. Some of those black is good as well so just leave it. I'm not doing anything in here since um maybe just a little bit to cover up some of this black not too much I want to do my white in there and my portrait paint for the hair later on okay my behind is I think it's dry some part not a lot all right, I want to go back in there and then try a long detailed brush just a titanium one and I wanted to add my hair my manes so just add your mane add those pretty mane the more the more individual streaks the better the prettier, the fuller the hair, the better. So just add those hair. Um, this section in here can be just all one color since that's just in the middle, and then just add those long hair so the hair trying to swish 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 then let's add the portrait pink to add some colors or you can add purple if you want i'm just using this so you can see some of those difference of the hair strokes And then, I think this section is dry. I'm going to add another titanium white in there. So this is going to be the second layer of titanium white. Just that, not too much. You want all the way. Then I want in here. Like that. And this section, since it's dry, I'm trying to add some more layer in there. This one in here because the light hits this way so I'm trying to add more highlights all right I'm going to add some colors in our ears then just use the detailed brush for the separation of those two just like that And then I like to use my long detailed brush for the hairs.
and I'm just adding a water or fluid you have the fluid aid and the titanium mark and just just add your hair And I'm adding the portrait paint in some of these. Some horse has a long mane, and some got short mane, so it's up to you. What do you prefer? Then they also have a short this in here in the front. And then some in here. Again, the portrait pink is just the separation of our white titanium one. So the eye of our horse is got covered. So I'm leaving it like that. And then this would be the nostrils of the horse. Make sure these in here are bright. That's the on the frontal lobe of our horse in there. And he has like an eye socket in there. The little highlight in the jaw. section and try to kind of blend the rest in the lip the let's make it exaggerated so it's, it's better to show exaggeration in there because that's the It's one way to tell uh, a horse is. And then just put the gray or the blue gray for kind of mask kind of in there. Doesn't need to be detailed because the eye of the viewer will automatic register that in our brain when you when you look at it. You can add some here and here. And I'll keep adding here. So I'm doing just keep adding it. Nothing special. And sometimes you can also add a black. Let's add that black. I'm just using the guess of black or just regular black is 
work as well. Kind of on that in there. Mm -hmm. Then when it's dry, let's go back with another layer of white. So let's go here. So what I'm doing is just making a, a um, like a, a stretch S. Since the hair is going this way and trying to flip. And I'm adding another highlight, just this section. Not all the way, just that section and probably that section in there. Not too much though, because we don't want it taking away of this. If you add too much like I did, just add this blue-gray. Okay. How to do this? Okay, I'm using now the slant brush. And I'm just adding this. To volume my my hair especially in the root part like here like in here just volume it then when it's dry and add another um, single hair on the top of it, it looks like we Mess that up so we can just add black or just usually black gesso. That's fine as well. Okay, now let me do. Okay, so I'm not really adding any eyes since our eyes I'm trying to portray that it got covered. So I'm leaving my eye that way. I'm not stressing my eyes out. And then if you are wanting to add another layer of your text, you can, you know, just Add more again if you think it's not visible enough, but I'm happy with what I have. Then we do the last part of the effect 
is you can use any kind of brush you can do this oh sorry do this and add more speckles on the canvas i suggest use the fluid aid not the water and then just drop a fl fluid aid and then just add your titanium white let me show you what i'm talking about So add a fluid, that's good, and then just mix that, okay? The way I like it is I do this, and make sure you don't have too much, but I do like this, and then just sprinkle it to the canvas, but you can use this way as well. But I like to do the this way. Make sure it's not too much load. Like this one, it's leaking in the end, so it doesn't go to our canvas. Doesn't mess up our canvas. So just enough liquid in there. And then just kind of slowly, just slowly. Not too much. Pay attention to my hand on um, from the bottom to the top so if you want to add more of those blots in that section just stay there and just add more like this one in here I want to add more and that would be enough in the rest of them because we don't want it taking over our horse okay so if you don't like um gray in here you can add maybe the parchment just use the parchment and then the um i'll show you because the parchment is like an eggshell so that can also be a shadow you you can use it as a shadow for the horse like that compared to your titanium white but um for the purpose of this video i wanted to show the difference between the shades in this side compared to the one that got hit with the light so that's why i'm using the blue gray So you can use that. So it's not too gray in there if you really want a white horse just like that. And then just make sure you add more of the titanium white and blend them together. Okay. So that is our simple step-by-step -step tutorial for how to paint a white horse with the quotes so if you like to add quotes in your painting you can um, we can also add more of that titanium white in here another layer so it pops a little bit so that's fine All right, I want to add also a glazing medium. Um, I'm using that to add these glitters in our painting. So I'm just adding a small amount of that glazing. And then go ahead and brush it in the canvas any brush you can use so just brush it in your canvas and make sure your um, canvas is dry and you can add your um, 
glitters in there just like that and also and another way is do the glazing and mix your glitters into the glazing is okay as well and then just mix it and then apply so either way it will work so just make sure again you are dry and then apply that to your canvas so this is just another additional to add glitters and add some sparkle um, also we can use the iridescent medium it's also a uh, a little a little um shine it adds a little shine on the it's like a silver so it adds a little shine in our paintings so try those medium different types of medium and if you like it go ahead and add it to your to your painting and if you just want it simple and no glitter you don't like glitters that's fine as well so that's how iridescent in here this is the iridescent it's like a silver kind sparkle looking thing so let's add that in there um, as you can see it kind of glare it sparkle a little bit here we go guys our painting is done I hope you like it thank you for hanging out with me today and don't forget to like share subscribe check out my description below I have link in there if you want to purchase some of my paintings art products those are available and we'll see you again next time have a blessed day